Every city and county, you have to have a fire department. You have to have a police department. And for me, you have to have a history center. People want to know history. It just came natural to be a part of this history center because I've lived here since 1979. Minorities have been pretty much left out of the history books. You know, the history books are like the family photo album. And when you open up that family photo album and you find people that are missing out of it, that you know played an integral part in your family being what they are, that to me was important to find out on my own those stories. All the stories and people that come from this area, they're responsible for what we have today. There's something magical about really old objects that you have that have this ability to, to tell a story. You know, all museums do this, but they take an object and they let that object tell a story. With the exhibits we have here, they arrange them in a way so that it tells a very specific story. At forward, a six foot nine inch senior, number 35, Jared Jeffries. I think a community is a space where everyone can find value and where everyone can connect and where everyone feels meaningful. And I think a space like the History Center helps us to find personal meaning, but also to learn about other people around us. I love sitting back and seeing how other people interact here. Watching people have fun and seeing what they react to is a lot of fun for me to watch. You know, I just think it's one of those spaces where everybody feels comfortable and you can interact how you're ready to interact. And so I've had a lot of good laughs in here. That's what the History Center is. It's a gathering space for families to come and learn about their community. Happy 40th anniversary to the Monroe County History Center. Monroe County History Center, happy 40th anniversary. Happy 40th anniversary, Monroe County History Center. <laughs>